What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World, and today we're going to be discussing the Gauntlet Unleash, the premium theme. All right, now I've been getting a lot of questions about it. People have been saying, Yeah, I can't unlock it. What's going on? How do you do your teams in the lineup and stuff like that? I've already done a video explaining how to set the lineup, but again, a lot of people that are coming to my channel, you guys are new, you're all over the country Australia, Italy, Belgium. Uh, I had one person from Russia. Listen, the whole objective is to make it fun and easy for everybody to be able to compete and to complete their team. So what's going to happen is this is the gauntlet, uh, the gauntlet challenges and the gauntlet unleashed, right? So look, when you go to the solos, you should find this. You're going to choose this category, uh, the gauntlet unleashed. The first section is the open qualifier. Now this you can do regardless. Okay. It doesn't matter. You can have your team set to whatever standard. It doesn't matter. Okay. This is what people are having issues with, the premium qualifier. Now, today, you can see that it's unlocked, and I haven't done it yet, all right? This is where you earn the better rewards. You have a chance at an elite, um, either an 82 overall that you can auction and trade, or an 85 up, 85 and up that is non-auctionable, non-tradable. Last week, I actually got Amari Cooper, which isn't bad, but he drops a lot of passes. Um, so I, I kind of regret not going with some somebody else. But it is what it is. You get premium things, and you also get... Uh, gauntlet trophies, which go towards uh, unlocking uh, some of the gauntlet uh, champion players. So right here with the premium qualifier, this week's theme is going to be the AFC West. So that's going to include the Oakland Raiders, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Denver Broncos, and the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, there are several ways you can do that. But before we get to all of that, these are the things that I'm talking about. You get a gauntlet trophy in this one. Okay, oh, it's only four games? Okay, so that's four games with premium. That's, that's not bad. All right, so... You get to do, oh no, that's the actual, um, the, the premium championship, the premium qualifier, which I have unlocked right now, is um, right here. You get a gauntlet trophy also for this, but you also get a player. That opens up on what, Friday to Sunday or something like that? What is that? Let me check that. Yeah, Friday to Sunday. Okay, so yeah, that's the championship. You have to do these between Monday and Thursday in order to unlock this. And this is what it is this week, the AFC West. But I just wanted to show you guys that you get two gauntlet trophies for doing this every week. You get the regular premium qualifier that you do Monday through Thursday. And then when you do Friday through Sunday, you also get another gauntlet trophy. And you get a chance at that elite player, right? I think you get you, you get a gauntlet trophy and you get something else. But I don't see it there. I guess you can't see it until after, um, you know, when you can remove that block right there. But last week, I got a gauntlet trophy and a choice of an uh, elite player. So I don't know if they're taking that away or you just can't see it because of the box. But it's there. All right? So now that you know what's required... I'm going to go ahead and answer the questions about the premium qualifier. And um, there's several ways you can do it. Uh, me, myself, I, I keep everything in my binder that I get from packs and all the solos that I've already done because I'm also preparing to do other things like get tokens and stuff like that for other sets that are coming soon. But you can they, they've been releasing what's called the packs for the week. So like this is the AFC West Gold Pack. This is $3 uh, U.S. currency. This gives you players that are packed in the AFC West that can help you build your lineup. That's one way to do it. You can buy packs or you can buy individual players by searching based on the team. Like you do an AFC West. So you're, you know, you're looking for um, whatever. You're looking for the team and you're going to go, what is it? The Chargers, the Raiders, um, the Chiefs, the Broncos. Okay, so you, you could search by this way and then go to like the lowest overall, you know, go to silver or whatever and then get cheap players like that. Or you might just already have them in your binder like I did. Now, I'm going to show you exactly the team that I put together. Again, you don't need to put this same exact team together. All you need is three players from each team to get tier one chemistry. And the chemistry is on the right side right here. You can use the right analog stick to see the chemistries that I currently have active. And you can see I already have the AFC West, which are the Broncos, the Chargers, the Chiefs, and the Raiders. Now, Trevor Simeon, always keep in mind... You're going to want to keep your real players that you're going to use in the solos as backups. So that way you can sub them in easily and not have to deal with trying to play the computer uh, with a lower overall team. That, that affects a lot, of, uh, a lot of players that play the solos. They say that they've been a lot harder and they've been struggling with them. So you want to make sure that you keep those players that you're going to utilize as backups and sub them right in. All right. So here we go. Trevor, Sim Trevor Simeon, Bronco. Um, who else do I have as a Bronco? Uh, go through the Broncos. Broncos, because that's the one. Okay, this guy's a Bronco. Jeff Hewerman. Okay, so he's a Bronco. And where's the other Bronco that I have? Because remember, you can put the Broncos in on both offense and defense. So don't I have, where's the other Bronco that I, okay, here he is. Uh, Quentin Goss. Now look, 
these players, like I said, it's either on the offense or you know, and the defense. Now, Chargers, Tyrell Williams. I'm actually going to probably leave him starting. Um, Ladanian Tomlinson, who's my uh, my level master, so that actually worked out pretty well for me. And then I think I had one charge. Okay, my left guard, Forrest Lamp. Now, these are very, very cheap players on the auction house, but I already had them again in my binder from doing other solos. The chief players, my center, uh, Zach Fulton. Uh, what do we got here for chiefs? Okay, my right tackle. He was a nat elite that I picked way back when. And it doesn't matter if they're elite, gold, or silver. They still count as one. So just keep that in mind. And then I think I needed one more chief player. So where was that player? I guess he would have to be... Oh, that was a center, right? I think that was a center. That was my center. Um, yeah, that was a center. So it's one, two, three. Okay, okay. The center, this guy, Chiefs, and then one more Chiefs guy, which was Tyreek Hill. Okay, so those are my Chief guys. And then my Raiders, the Raiders, Amari Cooper. And then we have, where's the other guy? Okay, Donald Penn was also a Nat Elite. And then we had one more Raider. I think he was a free safety. Okay, Obi, right here. Okay, so those are the three, 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 and three. And then when you go to it, when you click down on the R stick, you can see what the tier what the tier does. For instance, the Broncos at tier one, plus one awareness, play recognition. The Chargers, awareness, play recognition. You know what I'm saying? So you can see what they do and um, to match the themes. And then if you also want to make it easier, you could click on it to see which players are being affected by it immediately. So when I click, I could have probably did that easier to make you guys see already so we could highlight it. So that's my fault for not doing that and make it easier because you can just highlight to see who is actually fitting your chems, okay? So once you have this all set, you're going to want to go back and, um, you know, check out the solos and complete those just to make sure that you're ready to go. Because remember, you have Monday through Thursday to do the premium qualifier and the open qualifier. Both of these have to be done in order for the open championships for both of them. The open championship for regular and the premium championship for the uh, gauntlet at least um, the other qualifier for the premium championship when you actually have these same themes set, okay? This will not unlock, and it won't show this unless you already have your lineup set on that day. So when I did it last week, I came here like, oh my God, it's still a lock there. Why is the lock still there? I'm going crazy, ripping my hair up. Yeah, okay, I wasn't that dramatic. But I did tweet EA Sports, and they let me know, hey, you're probably an idiot, and you need to go and set your lineup. So what did I do? Yeah, I agreed. I was probably an idiot. I went back, switched my lineup, came back, and the lock was gone. So you're going to want to save that lineup that you utilize in order to get the gauntlet unleashed to unlock. And the way that you do that, like I've shown you in the previous video, you're going to easily press triangle or the Y button, and you're going to save your lineup like in, you know, pretty much like this. Once you go to the screen, you see how it says create new? You're going to want to press triangle or Y again. You're going to want to create a new lineup. And then you're going to want to save it. I'm just calling the chem solos, and I'm deleting it week by week. You can see that there's five slots here, so I guess you can have five. I never tried to do more than five because there's really no reason to do that. So once you have that saved, you can also, you know, just go, you can flip back and forth. Like my regular lineup is this one. You know, when I'm going to go play head-to-head -head ranked, here goes my regular lineup. You know, my GOAT, Moss, Maxed Out, Mario Cooper, everybody. And then you simply press triangle or Y again, and you change the active lineup. And you go back to your chem solos. And then that gives you the same exact thing that you had before. That way it's already set. And then when you come to Friday, you just it's it's a breeze. You just get it done. It's over. You go there, click on it, and it's it's you know pretty much a wrap. So that's what you're gonna need to do. You know what I have to do also? I have to add um I have to add that guy back in there so that I can make sure that I'm getting the proper yards because I'm trying to finish this guy up, Kellen Winslow. Um, if you get a certain amount of yards with that Kellen Winslow in your lineup, you, know, you get a free elite version of him. I've already put out a video about that, but I'll show you really quickly in case you're asking, like, what are you talking about? These objectives right here, this you have to have him in the lineup to complete these things to get a free elite version. And then for these two down here, he actually has to be the player that you utilize. So you have to actually have 171 yards with Winslow in the game to get these two done and then three touchdowns also to get uh, three done with that. So that's pretty much where we are right now. So now you should know for every week uh, how to set your lineup. And if you, like I said, I may do this for a couple, you know, maybe a couple more weeks, but I just want you guys to get used to it. And again, a lot of you guys are having issues with it. And, uh, you know, can you help me out with, uh, you know, this this week's theme? 
And I'm going to do the best that I can, but I also have to give you guys other tutorials about getting better at the game and other tips like that. So we're going to try to balance it out. And maybe what you could do is you can, uh, you know, leave me a comment or shoot me a tweet uh, at G Myers World. And maybe I could get I could send you guys a snapshot if that works for you, you know, so that way we don't have to keep on uh, showing the videos. But I do if you guys don't mind and it's helping you each time to see it, I will continue to do that for you so that you could get these, you know, get your lineup up and get your coins up and do things like that and start to enjoy Madden 18 Ultimate Team. Hopefully this has been informative to you. If you have any other questions, please leave it in the comment section. G Myers World, it's always one love.